Hey, I'm Rocco Saboth, coming to you from rainy, beautiful Seattle. I'm the head of community here at Linear B. Shout out to my friends in the Dev Interrupted Discord. I've had the pleasure of meeting hundreds of engineering leaders over the past few years. And one of the problems that comes up a lot is how challenging it is translating engineering to business. Things like communicating accurate delivery dates or negotiating priorities or advocating for more hires. And that's why I'm happy to be talking to you about the Linear B business alignment pillar. All right, let's get to our first big feature announcement of the day. I'm really pumped to share that Project Delivery Tracker is now generally available. Project Delivery Tracker shows you key stats for your most important projects, including people investment, the amount of people or teams that are working on this project, investment profile, the different types of tasks that you're working on in this project. Progress Tracker shows you the amount of velocity and progress you're making. And planning accuracy, if you operate in Scrum, shows you how accurate you are. Project Delivery Tracker updates automatically and shows you everything you need to communicate with the business about what you're working on at a glance. It initially works with JIRA, and in 2022, we'll be adding support for many other project management systems. So why do we need Project Delivery Tracker? Let me give you some context. We built it to help you answer two important questions you get all the time. When is feature XYZ or project XYZ gonna be ready? And how can we accelerate project XYZ? To know the answer to those questions, you would need to know four things first. Number one, you need to know who is working on project XYZ, which developers or, or which teams. Secondly, you need to know what else they're working on. What are the competing priorities? You need to know the current status of project XYZ, of course. And then you also need to know what blockers, including technical blockers, are slowing us down from delivering. And we use JIRA at Linear B. We love it. It's a great tool. But unfortunately, project management tools like JIRA don't provide us with that information. So it makes it really difficult for us to have that conversation with our CEO or business leaders in a way that they can understand. And if you look at this uh, example of, a, uh, of an epic report that's on the screen, you'll see that while we love JIRA and it's a powerful tool and we, and we use it, unfortunately, it doesn't help us answer those questions. So when it comes to trying to have that conversation to not only be able to answer the question of when a, when a big feature project is gonna be ready, or to have the negotiation about how we can move resources around, around from one project to another in order to accelerate a priority project faster. It just doesn't give us what we need. Okay, let's double click into Project XYZ and go into the expanded view and take a look at what Project Delivery Tracker can do for you. On the left-hand side, you'll see that we show you data for your project across four dimensions. People effort, investment profile, delivery progress, and planning accuracy. People effort is really useful. It shows you who's working on your project, what percentage of your team is working on this project, and it shows you that trend over time. This helps you ensure that you have the right amount of resources in your organization working on your most important projects. It also makes that negotiation with the business really easy if you need to help them visualize the consequences of moving people or teams from one project to another. Investment profile helps you keep track of uh, the amount of work you're doing across different issue types in your project so you can make sure you're spending enough time on new customer facing features, ensuring that you're fixing bugs or chipping away at technical debt uh, every period or iteration, and also helps you visualize whether or not you're investing enough in non-functional work. Delivery makes it easy for you to see if you're making progress uh, by seeing the amount of issues and story points being completed. And planning accuracy if you use Scrum is really useful for showing bottlenecks in your process. Unplanned work is a really common issue in big or long standing projects. And the planning accuracy chart not only shows you how good your engineering team is at, at planning, but it can actually show you bottlenecks that are harmful to your project, like a large amount of unknown technical debt or a lot of scope creep with new tickets being added in during your sprint.
One big differentiator for the project delivery tracker is how flexible it is. You can create new projects or edit your existing projects self-service at any time. And unlike other tools that read data from your JIRA or project management system, Project Delivery Tracker requires you to make absolutely zero changes to the way you work with your project management tool in order for it to be effective and visualize all the data that you need. Your projects can be based on any combination of boards, epics, or labels, and Project Delivery Tracker works great if you're working in Scrum, Kanban, or any other way of working. Unlike other tools that read data from your JIRA, Project Delivery Tracker doesn't require you to make any changes to the way you work with Project Management or JIRA. Everything you've just seen is available right now, so if you don't already have it, ask your account manager or customer success manager, and they'll get it turned on for you today. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into some roadmap items coming up over the next few months for Project Delivery Tracker. The first really cool thing is called Context Hover. It allows you to quickly see the why behind any of the data or trends you're seeing in the project delivery tracker. So say for example that you noticed in your last iteration, the number of people working on project XYZ went down, hover and you'll see details around which developers exited the project and which new ones came in. Or maybe you wanna understand why you had more bugs in project XYZ hover and you'll see exactly what those bugs were that you worked on that took away from you building new functionality. Or potentially you had a lot of unplanned work in the latest iteration for Project XYZ hover and you'll see those exact tickets so you can figure out uh, how to get to the bottom of it and improve it for the next iteration. The other cool thing coming for Project Delivery Tracker is advanced Get Activity View. One of the things that Linear B is already really great at is correlating the real work happening in Git with your stories. Some of you may already be using Pulse. It's a revolutionary view that shows you a live timeline of activity happening in Git correlated to the features, bugs, stories, issues happening in your JIRA project management system. Now imagine that level of context about what your developers are working on inside of your projects view. That'll be coming early in 2022. So that's it for me. If you don't have Project Delivery Tracker turned on, send an email to your success manager or your account executive, and we'll get it taken care of for you right away. Please come join me in the Dev Interrupted Discord anytime. I'd love to chat. And uh, thanks for your time.